Okay, got the old 4L80 tore down here. I was having some issues with the 1 2 getting really soft, more like a slip bump on the shift. And uh, used to be fairly firm, so just started happening after I moved up to 14 psi on the boost, uh, 5 to 7. You know, it was working really decent on 5 to 7. The tranny felt great. Everything felt really good. And then I went up to 14, and the 1-2 the just seemed like it was going away. The rest of everything was great. Everything else worked perfect. So I uh, had an idea what was going on. And as you can see in the video here, hopefully the intermediate clutch is pretty much gone. Uh, the steels are coned, and the frictions are coned real bad. And then what we got here is the 1-2 accumulator piston followed by the 1-2 accumulator spring which is controls the shift feel so when it fills this clutch it pushes on this piston which pushes on the spring and that controls the clutch engagement time and what that piston rides in here the low reverse servo I have found that the o-ring and the bore have a really loose and practically non-existent fit so when we go for second we're getting a pretty decent pressure loss here on the apply and the bore in this feels pretty good I can't really tell if it's tapered so it's going to get replaced obviously but the lathe cut seal here uh, it's pretty much flush I don't know why this will zoom there we go it's pretty much flush with the outer diameter of the piston so I mean it's not doing much for sealing at all so I believe that to be the culprit and this is a you know I don't know how many miles this transmission has on it it was a used unit when I got it and it's been working perfectly so I didn't see any you know problems with it but once we start putting a little more power through you just kind of find things but everything else looks great so we'll go ahead and replace that intermediate clutch with maybe a little bit more high performance one because everything else in this tranny is stock. And uh, fix that servo and the piston and, and see what happens next.